their trailer is finally out for the John Travolta movie. Uh, the, his latest. I, I mean, this guy will take any script, any script, John Travolta. It's, it's uh, amazing. And uh, the latest one, we just saw some still pictures earlier. Uh, and, of course, myself and Dave Landau had a, a good laugh about it. John Travolta's wigs are, um, they should be Academy Award winners. His wigs should come up. People just holding those styrofoam heads with various Travolta wigs on it and then just accept an Oscar, nod, and walk away because they're just beyond uh, anything you've ever seen. Uh, so the, la the latest one, what is this called? Fanatic? The Fanatic. Yeah. The Fanatic. Wasn't there a movie called The Fan? With Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he meets up with some guy at a club. Uh, and he's a big fan of his, and the guy winds up beating the living shit out of him. He's like a fan of radio, right? Yeah, he's I a think radio so. caller. Yeah, yeah, he's a radio, like a sports caller or yeah. something. And he meets a sports star that he likes, and he beats the shit out of him, and uh, the movie goes on from there. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what this movie's even about, but the trailer's out. Let's learn together. I have not watched this, I like going into these things just like everybody else without having seen them. So let's see uh, John Travolta, the trailer for Fanat The Fanatic. Oh, rated R, Ooh, look out. Racy. Hey, Hunter, over here. Hunter. Ooh, Robin. You're a fan without, uh, you're it's nothing. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Dunbar. Uh. Look at his wig. Is Hunter Dunbar here tonight? <laughs> That's enough. I need to get an autograph. Don't let him do this to me. I'm a fan. I'm a number one fan. Is it difficult oh, no. to find famous people's houses? I use my star map app. You have to be careful. I don't want you to be accused of stalking. Hey, you can't just come to my private residence looking for me. Listen, pal, I don't know how you found me, but I don't ever want to see you in this neighborhood again. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gay sling blade. <laughs> He's just sitting in the chair next to him. Help! I just wanted an autograph. It's gay misery. Wait, wait, wait! How do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'll watch that one. Just because it looks terrible. It's got John Travolta in a crazy wig in it. Like most of his movies. But, uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, he. it seems like he's borrowing from a few uh, characters here. There's a little sling blade thing going on, the hair and everything. And, uh, and he's... Uh, John Travolta playing any type of, excuse the, the term, retard. Because I won't even say mentally disturbed or anything because he's not that good an actor to play a literally a mentally disturbed person. A person of uh, maybe uh, mental uh, uh, problems, whatever. No, he's just playing a retard. This is him. This should be considered abusive and that he's joking about mentally disturbed people because he's not that good an actor to do that he going full retard i think he seems that way he's like oh, oh you're number one fan <laughs> Douchey. i can't wait i'm in john travolta uh, the fanatic that's uh the top top the top comment is nice to see simple jack get work after Tropic Thunder. Yeah, he really looks like Simple Jack, where they goofed about going full retard. Yeah. And again, uh, art becomes uh, reality, and vice versa. Uh, Chuck Norris playing the Kathy Bates role in Misery. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, it's a little Misery, a little Sling Blade, a little fucking uh, all those other movies where uh, some nut takes somebody uh, hostage because uh, they love them. Uh, very good. John Travolta just really went down the shitter. It's amazing. They talk about that big Pulp Fiction comeback and how it was just, I guess it worked for him financially. You know, he's got a 707 in his fucking yard. But, uh, 
But as far as a career goes, man, he just stinks on ice now. What the hell happened? People actually, for a little while, thought he was a good actor and thought he was, uh, you know, you put him in a movie, it's going to be a good movie. Uh Uh-uh. Ain't quite that way.